Yeah, so Ryan Zimmerman opened up Nationals Park with a walk-off home run, and in this ballpark's history, nobody has done more offensive damage than this guy. Nine walk-off hits in this park, and you see the ranks there. Of course, he's number one in all of those categories. Who would really top him in any of them? Ryan Zimmerman, Mr. National, will be getting his jersey retired here on this homestand. I'll have his name put up on the Ring of Honor here on the second level fascia. And I had a chance to catch up with Zim recently to talk about his excitement for the big weekend. He's gonna have family, friends, former teammates here. What a weekend it will be. I'll have so many people in one place that means so much to me. It's just hard. It's hard when you get that many people you know, together and you've had such a fun career like I've had to not get a little bit emotional, I think. Um, you know, we did this down at UVA a few weeks ago, right. um, which was really cool. And my family was there. And, you know, that city and, and program means a lot to me as well. Um, and this is like that times a million. So, uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. But, you know, I'm just excited to kind of share this with the community, the fan base, you know, the Lerner family, the, the whole ownership group, not just the Lerner family that have been, you know, all those people have been so instrumental in my career and getting me to this point. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would expect I'll be a little emotional. I'd, I'd like to think the more I do this, maybe the better I'll get at it. I don't know if that's the truth or if that's what's going to happen. Uh, you know, when you have your family there and things like that, it, it's hard not to get emotional. But, you know, it'll be a, a fun emotional, I guess, is the best way to put it. Uh, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And, uh, it should be, a, should be a fun weekend for everyone involved. You're going to have, what, your 35, 40,000 closest friends there as well. You've talked about how you've grown up with this okay. Nationals fan base uh, since you got drafted here, and, and you get to celebrate with them, and they get to show you how much you mean to them. Um, you know, you haven't, in your career, done a lot of reflecting back. You were always kind of a guy that focused on that day and taking care of that day's game. Now that you have had a chance to reflect, you've had that opportunity with a little time, is there a specific thing that you're most proud of in your long career in a Nationals uniform? Uh, I don't know if I've really thought of that question, but I mean, now, if, if I had to tell you one thing, I think it was kind of what you said, just being consistent and being the same person every day. And I think baseball, I don't want to say that's cliche that so many guys say that, but I mean, we play a game every single day. So it's really hard if you're someone who, who gets really high when you do well or really low when you do bad because you're, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. So, you know, everyone tries to do that. Everyone's told, you know, don't get too high, don't get too low, try and stay even keel, you know. If you go four for four, doesn't mean anything for you the next day. Um, but I truly tried to do that, and I think I did a pretty good job of that throughout my career. Um, you know, having a lot of high moments and, you know, times where I did some cool stuff and then a lot of low moments as well where, you know, you, I also did some, some bad stuff or the injuries. And, um, you know, if you play long enough, those things are going to happen. It's, it's you, you can't escape it. This game will humble the best that have ever played it. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, I think if I had to answer your hard question right now, it would be, uh, you know, doing the best I can to, to be the same person every day, no matter what. All right, we'll get you out of here with an easier question. Which of your family members do you think is most excited about Ryan Zimmerman weekends coming up at Nationals Park? Oh, man. Um, are Mackenzie or Hayden, are they able to grasp what this, this weekend is going to be? Uh, I mean, I think Mackenzie for sure. I mean, Mackenzie and Hayden know what's going on, obviously. They know that I played baseball for a while. They thought everyone's dad just played baseball, which is pretty funny. Uh, um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that over the last year or so, they've kind of realized that towards the end of last year when um, they started to notice some stuff when there was talks that, you know, towards the end that this might be, you know, these last games I could be playing, they kind of picked up on that. 
Uh, and then this year, obviously, with me being home more, they, they were wondering what the heck was going on and why they don't, why they don't get to go on cool trips every other week now. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think they'll grasp it. I think they're excited to go back to the park and, and be around the stadium again. I, you know, they, they always say how they miss hanging out with their friends at baseball and miss watching the games. Um, but once school is over, we'll, we'll get out there a little bit more. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think the whole family is excited. It's like I said, it's a huge honor. All of us are, are humbled and uh, very appreciative of what the nationals are doing for me. And, and honestly, my, my whole family. Well, we've got a lot of cool surprises in store for you. You don't know, you, you know, a lot of what's happening. You don't know a good bunch of things that are I, happening. I actually don't really know anything that's happening, which is good. terrifying. Good. Uh, we, we want it that way. Yeah. I mean, I, they've done a pretty good job of keeping things close to the best. So I'm, uh, I'm excited and uh, I'm sure whatever they do, it'll be done well and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. We are too. June 17th and 18th at Nationals Park, Ryan Zimmerman weekend. Tim, great talking to you. Looking forward to seeing you at Nationals Park that weekend and seeing you back at the ballpark some more and hopefully tossing that headset on you a handful more times the rest of the season. Yeah, I'll give you a couple days off. And just take your job. I watched you do it. It was super easy. Super easy. I've set the bar really low too. Sideline <laughs> reporter Ryan Zimmerman, maybe? I don't know. Never know. Never know. Thanks, Tim. All right, buddy.